In this lesson you will learn how to use digital inputs and make use of the internal pull-up resistors on your Arduino. In order to use an input we need to pick a pin and define it as input. We will use the function pin mode in order to define pin 4 as input. Be sure to write input in capital letters. End of statement. We will define pin 4 as input. If approximately 5 volts are connected to pin 4, Arduino will detect a high signal. And if approximately 0 volts are connected to pin 4, Arduino will detect a low signal. We will use pin mode for input to define pin 4 as input. And if we now connect approximately 5 volts to pin 4 and then run digital read 4, it will return high. If we connect approximately 0 volt and then run digital read 4, it will return low. If we connect nothing to the pin, this is a problem because it's not clearly high and it's not clearly low. So it could be both. So if we would connect a button to 0 volts and the button is open and we would run digital read, digital read will return either high or low, which is bad. Only when the button is closed it will definitely return low. But this will not work stable. What we could do is use a resistor to connect 5 volt to pin 4. If we just connect the resistor to 5 volt and run digital read, it will return high because the pin is pulled up to 5 volt. Now as soon as we connect 0 volt to the pin, the 0 volts are directly connected to the pin, so digital read will return low. Based on the same principle, we can make use of a pull-up resistor that is already included in the microcontroller. All we need to do is define pin 4 as input pull-up. If we then run the statement digital read 4, it will return high if nothing is connected. If we connect a button to 0 volt and the button is not pressed, it will return high and as soon as the button is pressed, it will return low. So let's try to do it with the actual Arduino board. First, I will just define pin 4 as input. In order to see what's going on, we will use the serial connection. So we will serial begin 9600, end of statement. Inside of our loop, I want Arduino to digital read pin 4 and send me the result to the serial connection. And this can be done by using serial.print but inside of the round brackets, we want to get the result of digital read. So we will put digital read pin 4 inside of serial print. End of statement. What we also want is a delay of 1000 milliseconds. End of statement. Let's run this code and see what happens. Now Arduino will digital read the pin and you see it is sometimes 0 and sometimes 1. And it will also react to my hand. So if I come closer or <laughs> try to mess around with the cable, um, it may react to whatever it measures here. So this is clearly not stable. So in order to make this stable, we will use input underscore pull up. Now if we upload the code again, Arduino will always report 1. Now as you see I already connected one cable to pin 4 and in order to make the button complete I will connect another cable to the ground pin to 0 volts. And now if I connect these two wires we will get 0 and if I open them, we will get 1. And just like in our first lesson, we can also use print ln to get new lines. 
and be sure to enable auto scroll. All right, so here comes your exercise. The onboard LED of Arduino should turn on when pin 4 is high and it should turn off when pin 4 is low. Stop the video and solve this exercise. Okay, so we will definitely have pin 4 defined as input pull up, but I will remove the serial begin and I will also remove serial print and we can also remove the delay. What we want is to also have pin 13 defined as output. So I will add one more pin mode, pin 13 and define it as output. End of statement. Now inside of loop, we want to digital write pin 13 and we don't want to set it to high or to low. We want to set it to whatever pin 4 currently is. And so we just add digital read pin 4. End of statement. Now right now I don't have a delay inside of my loop. So the LED will react very fast to changes of pin 4. Let's upload the sketch and see what happens. The button is not pressed, which means the LED is turned on. And as soon as I press the button, the LED turns off. On, off, on, off. Again, I'm, all, I'm only using wires here, but you can also connect a button to these two wires and then the button will just connect the two wires if you press it and disconnect the two wires if you release the button. Please like, subscribe, thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson.